What the heck happened here? Salut Survivors, welcome back to Solo Podcast Channel in Night of the Dead for the day 30 or night 3-0. In today's video, I will first present how we develop the maze today and we will then play the whole night. If you are new here today, please don't forget to like and subscribe, it really does help the channel grow. Anyway, let's get straight to the video. So, as you can see today, I uh, did some... Uh, fine-tuning of our guillotine tunnel here where I uh, was able to space it much better than before thanks to some uh, tip from Ray to utilize these uh, pillars to uh, snap them onto the, onto the pillars and uh, we have a much better spacing. Also, at least three persons, <laughs> and I guess uh, everyone, will enjoy this change here from uh, walls to uh, windowed walls. So uh, MJ, Genesis, and my little doggy will appreciate to see the uh, viewpoint on our uh, heads chopping. Hopefully that will be awesome. Uh, other than this, I have replaced here the spice floor by a cutter trap. Um, I think that will probably be more effective. That has been uh, for today's uh, improvements to the loop of death. Aside from this, as you know, I had some concerns, uh, obviously, these past two episodes of the serpent maze because these double shredders sometimes block the path of uh, zombies um, so for maybe half of them i have removed them put them back remove them put them back and i think i think it worked because during the day there was a uh, you know some uh, little guests coming and uh, they came down here i mean they died in the spikes so i was not really able to test for real but I think it should be all right now. So what we will do instead of testing it at the final wave, <laughs> that was a mistake, we will test it at the very beginning of the night just to check that they are coming down this way. If they are not, then we will not utilize the serpent maze. But I, I think that should be fine. We will then move to the loop of death after the initial testing. And uh, as a continuation of yesterday, I did some uh, massive uh, improvements to the main maze. Uh, I added uh, more traps under here. We are going to go downstairs in a second. And uh, build that bridge for uh, overhead reloading here, guillotine, or guillotines, I should say. And a cutter trap here protected from jumpers from day one <laughs> we need to learn from our mistakes right and under here a big change no more ballista i was not really happy of that ballista as you know anyway and we have this one there and uh here this is a new path for the zombies so we were not able to really test but i suppose it should be all right here we'll see uh, additional uh, compressor here, cutter trap, two more guillotines, and then we are back in the uh, improvements done here yesterday. So now our original main maze is much more powerful. Wait, I would like to quickly go above these stairs. Is she still coming here? Ah, oh, she's dead we won't be able to test that one. So, uh, as part uh, of the bigger picture, for our day 30, we now have, I think, a loop of death that has proven it can uh, handle a lot. There has been some uh, fine tuning of the guillotine tunnel. Uh, the main maze that had not changed much uh, between uh, maybe day 10 to uh, day 28 has a uh, receives these two past days a big uplift that uh, will permit it i think to uh, withstand a lot uh, in the 30s uh, wave 30s and uh, i think my next uh, step would be probably to do some fine tuning on the serpent maze or add more uh, firepower to the loop of death 
it seems it seems they are coming here. I mean, no, uh, no bad surprise. The heck! I jumped on the. Well, then it went back the other way, right? Yes. It was a double jumper. <laughs> no, okay. Look, that that's that on the right. They are coming here. It's uh, no more. Uh, Blocking of the path, otherwise they would attack the wall here, like this happened the last two nights. So, uh, now we know these shaders, we need to be extremely careful. It's not because the player can pass through it, that the zombies can. That's uh, good news. Now, in the bigger picture, I wanted these three mazes to be really robust, uh, each of them, before going into the next uh, step of the uh, overall maze design. I have several ideas on the next steps. Uh, one would be to uh, enclose the entire property, if we can call it this way, to force the zombies to come from one direction somewhere there, where we already have a gate, so that on the uh, roof here I could put some trebuchet to shoot at them there. But I don't want to put the trebuchet if I am not uh, forcing them to go down that way. So the first uh, step will be to have a uh, overall fence to the entire uh, compound. Um, so that's one idea on the future development. Another idea, as you know, is to have another parkour platform down that cliff here, but I would like to connect it to the main maze. Um, so that might be a... Uh, more or less a parkour platform slash maze number four. So in case I end up for any uh, reason outside fighting, uh, look, there is a chance it happens again in the future, right? I mean, it's likely one day it will happen. So I would like to have something ready for that. And then my uh, other uh, ideas of improvements would be to utilize this choke point between these two cliffs here. I have some ideas on how to do that. But uh, zombies can jump down a cliff, but they cannot go up a cliff. So, based on that, it gave me some thoughts. I'm not sure uh, yet if I will uh, work on that idea. And uh, lastly, uh, and maybe that will be the next step, I'm not sure yet. I need to balance uh, during the wave 30 to 40 what are the priorities. This would be to scrap this... Uh, uh, experimental meat bait room and build it two level higher here above the bottom loop of the loop of death and build it in such a way that whenever they would reach that meat bait room they would fall into the bottom of the loop and as you can see this can fit in the bigger picture to have then the main entrance of the main mazes on the complete opposite side of the base. So when they would land here, then they would do the entire tour once again. Now, for that idea, that would be like a, a huge loop at the scale of the entire compound. I have one concern, I'm not sure if it would work for one reason. If there would be a mid bait above here, let's close the door here, they are starting to arrive. If there would be a mid bait above here with a radius of uh, eight blocks of uh, attraction to the zombies, when they would fall here, would they be forced to stay within the eight radius or would they do the entire tour? Based on the tests we did a couple of episodes ago, I think it would work and they would be doing the entire tour. If you recall, we had done a test in the main maze uh, when we played with that mid bait room and when the zombies were entering within the radius of the mid bait they were not hesitating to go out of that radius so it's not like when they enter within the radius they need to stay within the radius they, they are attracted to it then they are not attracted anymore to the player but they are allowed to go outside of the radius of the mid bait so that would be, I think, something really cool. Um, please let me know your thoughts on these different uh, 
ideas uh, for people interested in this master planning uh, thoughts because I think that could be really, really, really uh, so cool, uh, this uh, idea I just described. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm kind of hesitating in, in which order to do it, because it's all part of the same uh, master plan, right? Oh, also, something else, I have lowered the sound, so that even if we have a lot of noise from all the traps, uh, it's not disturbing too much uh, your ears. Please let me know uh, in the comments if you uh, have any uh, uh, view on that. If you find that it's too noisy, for example, please uh, say it. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm spending quite some time to do video editing and, uh, and all this, as you know, in order to have uh, enjoyable and ent entertaining videos. So any comments is uh, most uh, welcome on uh, your feedback about that. Anyway, we are now in the initial waves, so let's focus on the fights. Wave 30 starting. Woo! We prepared hard these past few days for it. I think we are now finally ready. We should eat uh, the steak. <laughs> that's that's today the uh, celebration. Let's eat the steak. Good, and if things go sour, we'll be ready. Ah, we got the first uh, guest falling down here. Cool. Okay, these new improvements here of our guillotine tunnel is just really good. I can access relatively easily all of them. Woo! Oh, all right. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll build in the future an expansion with some uh, fences and we will be able to... Uh, sit here safely yesterday i was able to catch a good one but that's not easy to to catch uh, systematically oh, another one glitched there it happens uh, every time i think it's because the compressor is uh, pushing them down. Okay, good. Do the whole two. So our cutter trap here. Ah, jumper. Okay. I don't know if I can really access the cutter trap. Yeah, so the cutter trap is not necessarily better. A good compressor here would be able to reload it that would be actually better. Okay, reloading them. Ah, both at seven in this identical. And as recommended by Sin, now they are not uh, all uh, triggered at the same time. So they, they are less, but actually the efficiency is much, much higher. <laughs> Woo! Okay, so as usual now, the loop of death is uh, really doing its job, no problem. We are going to move into our separate maze to uh, be able to test it and not end up uh, the last minute uh, with a, a change of plan. Ideally, right? We know we can always retreat here if things go sour for some unknown reason. Okay. 
might just win. Okay, let's go! Woo! Okay, let's check they are not breaking that wall here. It looks like they are taking the correct path. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we'll be able to finally test the new version of our Serpent Maze. What I suspect is that when I will be in the use, I will not be able to reload the shredder at the back. But, let's see. Let's see if it's possible or not. Because in my testing of the range to reload a cutter trap in the new uh, new expansion of today, actually, you can reload the cutter trap more than one block away. So, actually, let's go trade now, if we can. There are two here. So the first one. And the one behind. I think it worked. Ah, but when I do the second one. Right. So first one is at 99. Let's, let's wait to make sure that. Yes, the second one is also triggered. We should do it at the moment when there is none. I'm not sure this will happen. Let's just try. Yes? No? No? Yeah, got it? Okay, okay, super. So we can reload behind. We just need to be fast enough, but that's doable. From the moment it is doable, it means with our mid bait uh, room uh, mechanism, uh, we could anyway go to one maze, reload it, repair it, and alternate right so as long as we can then it's fine okay so i was thinking to maybe do some reworks of that maze maybe we won't need it after all oh not for not yet we could work on some other uh, projects Okay, well, they are not go getting past the first one yet. So I still have these uh, little spikes here. But look, for now they do their job to slow them down and uh, a lot of the uh, uh, basic zombies are being caught. So, so far so good. Okay, the final wave is here. Nice. Just checking. <laughs> no, that sounds alright. Also, let's get ready here to not have to do it at the last second. Okay, big wave coming now. Woo! Let's uh, go prepare and do some reload. Yes, good timing. Yes, I got it. Awesome. Okay, there. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, in fact, that might be because I need to repair first, right? Hmm. I spend so much time every day, you know, to get uh, three branches. So I'm going to try to be more efficient with my uh, three branches. Is he going to glitch through it? No, good.
Okay, let's round of repair. Oh no need. I need to. So the question is will they be reaching our flamethrower? I mean this one did but it cheated. <laughs> let's look at it in action. Here they are choking, but normally if they are choking here, they should do a U-turn. If I understood well their mechanisms. Let's see how far they will go. So far so good, I mean there are four branches here, I mean three are with these uh, double double shredders, the last one is different. Actually now that we have been able to test the other guillotine tunnels, this one uh, I will modify it uh, at some point in time to be made the same way on how we did the other one. What is that? They opened the door. I don't really understand. Oh, they are glitched. They are not moving. Let's go check what's going on. What the heck happened here? I mean, they, they are bugged or... Yeah, I mean, obviously they are bugged. Maybe if we trigger the first ones and they will come ah maybe for some unknown reason okay Ooh, that's going to be quite some uh, because they're all got stuck let's get ready here Woo! Let's check from here, how does it look? Can we see? Not fantastically, we need to go on our terrace. We don't have yet the flower pot, but we will have a flower pot at some point in time. Just need to take the time. Okay, equipping, we're ready. Very good! I thought we would need to use our uh, bonus here. We have so many white blocks between the uh, stake plus the pork. Woo! Oh my god, the, that was quite a testing of our mates. Oh, why? <gasps> That's these walls that I had to put temporarily. Oh, plan. <laughs> because to put these, I had uh, to put these walls. I had to put some little pillars to snap it onto it. And uh, actually, I got again this issue of uh, when you put one and upgrade the other one, the other one broke and. Uh, all in all, I got disturbed and never upgraded them. Well, look, they have this cutter trap is still 9 out of 100. It got, didn't get used fully. And that guillotine, 9 out of 10. Okay. Compressor, 22. 
in the gear team. Eight out of ten. So basically, they have not. Uh, this was a pretty huge wave. Eh? Uh, we'll see more in the in the replay, but there was really a lot, and they haven't yet reached the rear kill area. Okay, I think our uh, three mazes have uh, shown today for our wave 30 that they are really able to handle much more when I am properly repairing and not having any uh, passing issue in one of the mazes. That's good. I think we are ready for this uh, wave 30 to wave 40. Uh, so in the coming 10 nights, uh, that's going to be uh, very uh, interesting uh, how we will develop this maze. As introduced earlier for this uh, Wave 30, uh, say master planning discussion. And I hope you have enjoyed our uh, guillotine tunnel. I uh, really uh, like the, uh, the design. Also, I was thinking I got quite some uh, challenges to build it, and now we have something really uh, effective, uh, not too costly. Uh, maybe I'll make a short video on how to build a guillotine tunnel so that people who would like to do it will then uh, be able to uh, beneficiate from the learnings we got here um, these past few days. Cool, so I uh, hope you have enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe and see you tomorrow for more adventures. Until then, have a good day. Cheers.